I think this is more beautiful than Kyoto. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's up YouTube? We are back with the second part of the Takayama video, a city where we believe is one of the most beautiful places in Japan. In this video, we'll show you what the city looks like, as well as a dango restaurant owned by a grandma, and last but not least, the 80s museum that will take you back to what Japan was like 40 years ago. Alright, so any further ado, hope you all enjoy! <笑>醤油が大好きです。でも、主人はきな粉が好きです。高山の団子じゃなくないんでね。あ、そうなんですね。高山で醤油だけなんです。ええ。高山だけでしょうかね。そうなんですね。高山はね、みたらしって書いて
Uh, so it's basically a good way to experience Japanese culture from 80s and 90s. So I'm super excited about that. Let's go and see what they have there. Let's go! The gas price was 26 yen. Right now it's like 200 or something like that. Oh! Yeah, it's very expensive nowadays. Oh dude, this is crazy. Uh, this says that the uh, they have a record of news uh, of newspaper mm -hmm. back then, and then you can like enter your uh, date of birth, mm. and including the year of birth, and they're gonna print out the exact newspaper that um, of the newspaper that was like printed on your date of birthday. So this is like a pencil and the uh, eraser holder. Um, for mine, when I, w when I went to elementary school, it used to look a little different. Uh, mine was like a little smaller uh, and everything. Cause like this is very bulky. Yeah. But this is the, um, like the notebook of the things that you learn in classroom. Those shoes are the indoor shoes. Okay. Um, so when you get to the school, you obviously are wearing your shoes outside, right? Yeah. Um, and then you go, you get to the school and then you put your, sh uh, you put your shoes inside of the shoe box. And then you take out this, uh, these types of shoes, indoor shoes, and you would wear these indoor shoes to walk around inside of the, uh, inside of the school building. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So we just got lunch, um, and uh, it, they they give you like a, um, you know, lunch of like what they used to eat back in the, I guess like seventies or eighties. But this does not bring me back to uh, my old times at all because, like, uh, my elementary school was like, you know, I went to elementary school in the in the two thousands. My lunch back then had way more food than this. Um, they had like a lot of varieties and stuff too. Um, so I think my lunch typically consisted of rice, uh, milk, veggies, and some sort of fish um, and some and soup. Well, this book is actually really old. I'm not, I'm not good though. Well, like, let's see. Okay, you're not good. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> Man, it's so hard. How many attempts are you supposed to have? <laughs> a unique code to it and then if you want to listen to it you pay 100 yen and then you put in the code using this buttons that's so cool that's cool yeah i'm gonna get a haircut right now all right how do you guys how do you guys like my haircut <laughs> i just got it done I'm in a 1960 boy right now. Boy? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you know it? Yeah. Crazy. Alright, this was a very unique and fun experience. Um, if you're curious about what Japan, uh, what Japan was like, uh, whether it be in school or uh, what they used to do to, you know, have fun and everything, uh, this is the place for you. 
uh, for a cultural education, uh, perhaps. Uh, this was fun. Uh, we got in with uh, an entrance fee of approximately 3,000 yen total, which means 1,500 yen uh, per person. That includes the admission fee as well as the food and drinks. Um, and the food includes lunch uh, that brings you back to what it used to be like in the 80s and 90s. So um, I think it was definitely worth it. Um, there's a lot of things to do. They have uh, a lot of games and Nintendo 64 <laughs> that I used to, of course, play when I was little. That's the first game I used to play. Um, so this was definitely worth it. Brought me back to, uh, you know, uh, my childhood as well. I'm not that old, but um, <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. All right.